You can make a folded paper plane. You can make a folded paper crane. But can you fold paper again and again? I'm Mike. And I'm Mitch. And today, in the Wacky Workshop, we ask the question, is it true that you can only ever fold a piece of paper on top of itself seven times? The tricky thing here is every time you fold that piece of paper, you double its thickness. Well, duh. Yeah, but keep doubling that and the thickness quickly gets thicker. If you could fold it over 42 times, guess how high that would be? Higher than this room? More like from here, all the way to the moon. No way! Yes way. Can we try that later? Well, let's see if we can make seven folds first. How hard could it be? Last one to eight folds buys a chocolate milkshake. You're on. In three, two... Well, I got seven folds. I got seven folds also. So far it is true that one man can only do seven folds. But wait, would the result be the same if we used a bigger piece of paper? This piece of paper measures one meter by 0.7 of a meter. And this time we're working together, yeah! The result remains the same, still only seven folds. Oh man, but wait, would the result be the same if we used the biggest piece of paper we could find? Here it is, 3.9 metres wide and four and a half metres long, trying for eight folds here. In three, two, come on, let's just do it. So it's getting harder, but we've got a plan. Yes, we have a plan. Safety gear on. Safety gear on. So, after rigorous experimentation, we can assume this extremely scientific result. It is true that you can only ever fold a piece of paper on top of itself seven times. We tried our best, but you can't really call this a quality fold. All innocent emissions accepted, all care and no responsibility. Some dramatizations used, results may differ. Some parts on separately, batteries not included. Thanks for visiting the Wacky Workshop. I'm Mike. And I'm Mitch. Guess they're not going to make 42 folds in. None. Guess they're not going to make it to the moon. No. Darn it.